Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. Uh, today, inshallah, we're going to talk about one of the lesser known of the 10 companions who are promised paradise, and that is Sa'id ibn Zayd. Sa'id ibn Zayd was someone that we don't really have too much information about, except that he was married to uh, Umar ibn Khattab's sister Fatima, and also that he wasn't able to participate in Badr because the Prophet ﷺ sent him as a scout. Other than that, we have some pieces and bits of information here and there about him, radiallahu an, but nothing that gives us a complete characteristic or a sifa that I would like to, or character or trait that I would like to share with you. But the one thing that does come to mind when going through all of these different stories is obedience. And this is something that I really take to heart when it comes to companions like this, where we don't have too much information about. So some of you might be very familiar with the story of Fatima and her husband, who happened to be this individual, Sayyid ibn Zayd. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be, be pleased with both of them. When they were reading Quran and Omar came, came across them and then he hit his sister. So this story, while there is some um, difference of opinion over its veracity, it tells us one thing about this individual in that he was consistent in his obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And even when he was sent as a scout to scout the caravan of Abu Sufyan when he was on his way back from Syria uh, before the Battle of Badr, on his way back because he was so far ahead scouting he actually missed the battle but even then the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam gave him a share in the ghanima or in the war booty so when we look at these individual stories we'll find that there might be companions and there might be individuals like us who come later who might not be well known for something who might not particularly stand out but even then that these characteristics that we might not know about them and the fact that they didn't particularly stand out or maybe that they had a, a more of a, um, a, a politi political or secretary type role like Saeed ibn Zayd or they had you know support roles like they did during the Khilafah. Um, so he was actually appointed as a governor, radiallahu an. Whenever they were put in positions, they did it. Whenever they had work that they had to do, they fulfilled it. And this obedience is something that is really important and is not something that is to be overlooked. Because regardless of what it is and what it was that he did, there was an action that he radiallahu an, was known for by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that recognized him and made him from the people of paradise. And it's not important that we know what that standout characteristic is because it is very possible that that idea of consistency and that idea of obedience was the thing that got him into paradise. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us consistent, may he make us obedient, and may he make us from the people of paradise. Ameen.